up, what's up, what's up? It's your girl Haitian doll. That Sophia back at again with another YouTube video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can become a part of the doll house today. And make sure you like and comment on this video because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm when you like, and it really helps with the YouTube algorithm algorithm when you comment as well. And I can know that you are here. Hold up, let me get into frame. As you guys know, I did crimp my hair for the last video, and I have in my crimps to date again. So, before we get into today's video, I'm going to give you guys the shout out of the day and the outfit of the day. So, the shout out of the day is going to Kira Dior. And hold up real quick. Let me just get her information. And if you see the lighting light going in and out, that is due to the fact that I am sitting in front of the window and I actually have my ring light. But I don't know why it keeps doing that when the lighting goes in and out with the sun. So, that's what's going on. So, Kira Dior's channel features makeup, fashion, hauls, reviews, and I think more. So, definitely make sure you guys go ahead and check out her channel. Everything will be in the iCard description and on the screen. So, you guys will be able to find her information and go ahead and subscribe to her channel. And let's get into the outfit of the day. So, today I have on this guest shirt. And I did tell you guys this is my grandfather's old shirt. And then I have on these Spalding Yogan pants. And I wore them before on my channel, so nothing new. And then I have on these rainbow crocs that I got from Journeys. And you guys already seen that on my channel as well. So, for today's video, let me just back up the camera real quick. Today's video, I'm going to be talking about, this video is going to be titled, All About Our New Guinea Pigs. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that, yes, I do have two new guinea pigs. And we purchased the guinea pigs. Let's see. I have all the information here in my YouTube book. October 29th. So one was purchased October 29th. I believe the 28th. It was either 29th and 28th or October 29th and the 30th. But it was one day after each other. So it's a female and a male guinea pig. And if you want to know anything about guinea pigs, you are supposed to have them with another guinea pig in a cage because they basically survive from having someone else with them and that someone else is supposed to be a guinea pig and typically they say that you're not really supposed to put a female in a male if you don't want to have babies because guinea pigs do get um they do get pregnant quick and then they have babies like quick like they will have like six to ten i believe babies at one time so your cage could get full really quick but if you plan on like selling the guinea pigs or if you plan on like keeping like half of the guinea pigs that they actually do produce, then yeah. If you're fine with that, then that's good. So I'm just going to give you some facts about them. For grooming, um, you really don't have to take a bath guinea pigs. They said they could only get like two to three baths a year. But as far as that, you can buy the spray, which is you just buy the spray on Amazon. It's a guinea pig spray and it smells like a shampoo. It's the guinea pig shampoo size body wash sprayed on them and you take the brush and you brush them and that's fine you have to cut their nails but they have to get used to you for the, the you to do that because it kind of i don't want to say it hurts but it is a unusual feeling to them and remember guinea pigs are from the wild so they're not really as domesticated even before that so they get them for the from the wild unless they are breeding so that's pretty much that with grooming and they have they have to have interaction with other guinea pigs that's why if you don't put your guinea pig with another one they will eventually die quicker so you definitely want to have another guinea pig in the cage so some more things about the guinea pigs um it says that they sleep with their eyes open so we did do a lot of research before we even went and purchased the guinea pigs and you want to do research on a pet before you even purchase it whether it be a dog cat whatever don't just go on a woman purchase it actually learn about the animal um yes they sleep with their eyes open they're very inexpensive um everything was basically that we bought for them was on amazon very inexpensive the most expensive thing was the cnc cage and the cnc cage could run you about 20 to 30 dollars so that was the most expensive thing so apart from like everything else that's inside the cage you have the bowl and the bowl has the kiblets inside and then you have the puppy pads with well, the puppy pads we actually got some plastic puppy pads like the um it's like a trash bag puppy puppy pads and then they actually have like the cloth padded puppy pads and then we had those on top of that 
and then we had the blankets and those blankets are like um puppy blankets so as i said the lighting is going in now it's because of the sun and then they have like the puppy blankets so you just want to have some fleece blankets on the top if you want extra protection but you can also just put the fleece blanket and um the padded puppy pad and you'll be good and then it's toys in there as well you want to get some wooden toys for them to chew on because that um basically gnaws down their teeth and basically it's good for them it's kind of like hygiene for their teeth you want to have hidey houses um typically you want to have two and you want to make sure you have two holes like basically an entrance and an exit and you want to have a tunnel for them as well so they can play in there so you want to have water bottles we have two water bottles in the cage and i'll try to insert the video so you guys can see probably be while i'm talking or be on a standalone clip you want to have veggies for them they can have veggies they can have a abundance of veggies but don't basically don't overdo it make sure they're gonna eat it so for the veggies you really want to cut like because they could eat bell peppers they can eat kale they can eat lettuce they can eat carrots they can eat a lot of vegetables but basically look up what vegetables they can eat um for our guinea pigs they really like kale and that's something that they really like so that was like the abundance that we gave them so for veggies they can have that basically every day but fruits you don't want to give them a lot of fruits because they can get diabetes um you want to have a hay feeder if you don't have a hay feeder you can also put it inside like the Heidi house or you can put it inside a bowl but i suggest you get like a hay feeder we have the spinning hay feeder and if it's in the video i'll probably put a note so you guys can see what i'm talking about you want to have um basically yeah that's all we have in the cage okay and another thing about guinea pigs i know a lot of people misconcept that they run in wheels like hamsters there's they're nothing like hamsters um typically with hamsters they do bite and beginning pigs do not bite they only nibble so they will not bite you they're more of a friendly animal so they are similar to hamsters but at the same time they're not um what else can i say about them they like hay a lot they like timothy hay timothy hay is their thing and like you want to keep a lot of timothy hay inside of their cages because they will run through it a lot also when they do urinate they will have like white spots in the cage and that's basically calcium and vitamin c deposits that's coming out from their urine and then you only want to give them fruit one time a week that's what i just said because they couldn't get diabetes and you don't want to keep giving them sweet stuff you just like with humans you don't want to have an abundance of sweet stuff you want to have a lot of veggies in your diet so um for the kiblets you want to give a handful per guinea pig sometimes we do like a handful and a half but you want to do a handful per guinea pig because you don't want to put too much kibbles in the bowl and they don't even really like the kibbles like that they like the like the other food particles that's in the kibbles like the carrots the um there's some other stuff sunflower seeds like in the kibbles there's regular kibbles like you would have like what well, dog food and then there's actual other stuff they mix in the kiblets so they have cranberry in it it's just a whole bunch of other good stuff that's good for the guinea pigs and then as i said always want to have a supply of timothy hay and i have to keep stressing that to you guys because they love the timothy hay and the and then with our guinea pigs they actually love the kale and they were eating up the kale pretty quick and yes they do poop a lot less okay let's talk about the whole thing with them pooping so when they poop you want to have like a designated like spot their territory from when they poop and pee because they will poop all over the cage and if you don't have a custom because we didn't have a custom it will go outside of the cage but it won't be like on the floor that's why when you do the cage shut up you want to make sure you have the puppy pads like on the side so that way if they poop and it comes out then it doesn't like come out the cage and then you have to clean up poop and pee but sometimes the guinea pigs will like pee on the um corner of the cage and then you have to just like you have to clap so they can move like they're pretty disciplined animals but they kind of mischievous as well um let's see what else i didn't talk about they're very energetic um for guinea pigs like they love the tunnel like the whole um place tunnel that's one of their things so you definitely want to get them a tunnel um yeah you need two pigs and one habitat 
and I cannot stress it enough. If you you cannot just have one. So if you want to get a guinea pig, you have to have a companion for them. And basically, guinea pigs popcorn, and it's a little thing that they do. They like jump, and their whole body just like jumps, like. So basically, they do that when they're excited. Then they have noise for when they're in danger. It's like a wee wee noise. They have different noises for like when they're in danger, when they're excited, when they like. And what else? Okay, so for the female, male guinea pig that we have, he makes a noise when he's trying to like um, mark his territory and say that he's the boss and stuff like that. So all guinea pigs have like different sounds that they make. So don't be alarmed if they're making noises. Also, they need to have vitamin C. So they have vitamin C drops actually for guinea pigs and small animals. And you can buy that on Amazon. So basically, it says like vitamin C drops. And then you just put it in their water. And with our guinea pigs, they actually like when their water is kind of yellow. I actually see when we put them on the vitamin C, they like it, I guess. Because it kind of has like a sweet taste to them. And they like it. So we kind of try to make their water not yellow, yellow, not yellow or orange. But enough so you can actually see it. Because I see that's how the way, the way that they like it. Okay. So now let's get into the profile of each guinea pig. So, excuse me. So for Gummy, Gummy is a female guinea pig. She is light brown. She is light brown, black, and white. And she is very friendly. And when we first got her, we got her from, is it, it was Petco or PetSmart? PetSmart. So we got her from PetSmart and we purchased her for like 50 something dollars, which is very inexpensive as compared to what you would have paid for like a dog. But yeah, she was 50 something dollars at PetSmart and she was in a cage with a whole bunch of other guinea pigs, like at least five to six of them. So that's why I feel like she was more friendly because she was like, she's in a cage with all these people. She want to get out. She want to get bought. And if the guinea pigs don't get bought, they get feed. They, um, they get feed. They get fed to like the snakes and lizards. So I feel like that's very bad. But at the end of the day, they feed like the guinea pigs like the little um the little rats you see in the cage the little chinchillas the little gerbils the little hamsters the guinea pigs or probably they give them to the shelter but nine times out of ten or probably like seven times out of ten they get fed to like the reptiles in there so i feel bad for them but it's like i don't know they still have to get fed but it's like i don't know how to feel about it but i feel like that's bad but i had to tell you guys that because i mean what do you think they do with them? But if you didn't know that, now you know. Um, but yeah, Gummy, she's very energetic. She likes hiding under things. You guys will see in the clip that I include in this. I don't want to make this video too long, but I don't want to make it too short. So I could try to tell you guys everything about it. But she likes hiding under things. And the little um, hay feeder that we have, she went inside of there and she got stuck. And then we had to take her out and then she went back in there. Like, it's fun for her. And then if you go like this towards the cage, like over the cage, she will like um, sniff your hand and everything. It's like, Gummy is really friendly. But on the other hand, the male guinea pig, Poopy, he has a lot of adjusting to do because he would just like, he would sit at the cage and then when you come, he will start running. Like Gummy, she will still run, but Poopy... Mm, he has a lot of adjusting to do still but yes he still he'll still come to you but it's like he's still scared because he was in a cage by himself so he's a little different in that way oh and i also want to talk about the cage so as far as the cage you don't want to get it from the pet store because they're overpriced one and they're too small and you typically want to have a cage that's like more open and you want to have a cage that's open at the top so then you're able to reach in because if you get a cage at the pet store, I think it is an option for you to open it. But it's not as much like roof space. So you want to get a cage that's open. So you want to get a CNC cage. And you could purchase that from Amazon like I told you guys earlier in the video. So basically that's all I have to say as pertaining to like grooming, um, feeding and all that other stuff. And then you'll see clips of like them in the video and also like pictures so if you have any more questions let me let me know down in the comment section below and definitely make sure you like if you want to see more videos like this and also let me know if you want to see more video like this 
in the comment section down below and make sure you go ahead and check out Kira Dior's channel as I said I didn't want this video to be too long and I did want to reach all the points that I was trying to give you guys so check out Kira Dior's channel everything will be in the iCard description and on the screen and make sure if you are new to my channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe and the links down in the description definitely make sure you want to Sign the petitions down below because Black Lives Matter, they always have, they always will. And I always say that in, at the end of my videos. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, let me know. And that's all I have for you guys today. With love and care, be blessed and don't be stressed. And I'll go with my Haitian dot Sophia out.